it is time to export our final master using Final Touch here on the iPad. Yes, if you've been sticking with me throughout the whole series, you should now have a Final Master track ready to export. But how do you export that Final Master ready to share and release? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today and in this series of videos I've been showing you the end-to-end -end mastering process here in Final Touch on the iPad. We've imported our tracks, we've gone through all six of the modules and it is now time to export our final master so that we can release it to the rest of the world. So let's jump into the iPad now and take a look. Here we are in Final Touch and we have our final mastered track. Now you may have noticed here that we've only used our pre-EQ, our dynamics, our multiband compressor there, and our maximizer, our brick wall limiter on this particular track. So you don't always have to use every module. In fact, very often you won't use every module. Now you may be asking, why have we not talked about the post-EQ? Well, we talked about that in the pre-EQ. So if you've been following along and you're like, what happened to our poor post-EQ? Well, we covered it all in the pre-EQ because they're exactly the same plugin. Let's now take a listen to what my final track of my punk song called Goats is sounding like here in Final Touch. Goats have it easier than me. They don't have to work. They don't have to lift a finger. Goats so I think that's sounding pretty good for our final master. Let's just have a quick listen. We'll come back here towards the start of the song and let's listen to the unmastered version versus the master version. We can quickly do that by using our power button in the bottom right here to turn it off and then turn it back on again. So let's turn it off. I'll play it back and watch as I bring it on and you'll hear the difference between the unmastered version and the mastered version. Now, the thing you have to keep in mind here is that yes, it's louder, and we as humans like things that are loud. So if I pumped up the volume of that initial mix and then had the mastered mix, it wouldn't sound as different, but it still sounds pretty good to me, and I'm ready to now release this song. So how do we export from Final Touch? Well, I'm glad you asked. We tap here on our export button just to the right here of our information, and yes, this is pretty familiar. If you watch the importing video, it's pretty much the same option. So if you haven't seen that one, check that one out. I'll link it up the top and down below because what we can export to is Dropbox, an FTP server. We can mail it so we can use email. We've got file sharing. We've got audio copy and we've got audio share here. So mail is the only different one here that we actually have where we can email it. Now, I don't recommend emailing a master because they're usually pretty big files. A lot of email services don't actually support them. But let's just have a quick refresher on some of the options I do recommend here. So if we tap on Dropbox, it's going to ask us what we want to sample this as. Now, my recommendation here is your sample rate should be the same as whatever you brought it in as. So 44.1 kilohertz is what this was. So we'll leave it as that. The output bit depth, I'm going to change to 24 bit. So it is a 24 bit recorded file that I recorded in GarageBand. So if you've got a 24 bit, I would, um, I would suggest if you're going to upload it to streaming services, leave it at 24 bit. If you're going to burn a CD, you need to change it to 16 bit and you should use some dithering which we talked about in the previous episode you can go back and check that one out if you need to so leave it at 24 bit and our format i always suggest wav wav file because this is the standard uncompressed format that every single daw or every single platform or playback platform will support i haven't come across one that doesn't like wav so go with that we then tap on export and what it's going to do, it's going to jump into my Dropbox and ask us where to export it to. So let's just put this in my music folder here and we can just tap upload in the top right corner and it's now going to export that file as a WAV file and then it's going to upload it to Dropbox. So for, for me, this is the simplest way. If you don't use Audio Share, if you don't have any other things, get a free Dropbox account, link it up here and as you can see, you can download and upload your tracks directly to Dropbox directly from Final Touch. So it makes things super convenient.
The other export option that I use quite often, and I talked about this in the import video as well, is file sharing. So if we tap on file sharing, we can do the same selection here. We can tap export. And now what it's going to export it to, it's doing the same mastering process again, and it's going to export it to our iTunes file sharing folder. So we do then need to sync our iPad with a Mac or a PC running the iTunes desktop because that is the only way we can get this file out. So it's not actually showing us anything here, but what it has done is it's put it in the file sharing folder for this iPad if we go to the Final Touch app. And again, if you want to learn about how to use iTunes file sharing to share and to back up your files from your iPad or your iPhone, check the video which is linked up the top there and down in the description as well. But once again, my favorite way to export is using audio share. So I'm going to tap export and I'm going to tap audio share. We'll select 24 bit and we'll hit export. Here's our familiar screen. And this time it's going to send it over to audio share, which is what we used to import the original WAV file. And now it's going to export a mastered version of this WAV file over to audio share. So it's done. It opens audio share and it imports the audio and it pops it in there. So there you can see it's now called goats five one trimmed mastered wave and you can see there the difference between that and the original version that we put in there so our unmastered version looked like this and you can see there that it's uh, you know there's quite a lot of range there and, and we had a little bit of headroom there to do our mastering our mastered version now looks like this and if anything i've probably gone a little bit intense there we still have a bit of dynamic range there but you know what it's a punk song i wanted it to be loud so we've mastered it to be a loud punk song and from here we can just hit play and we'll play back our song our master song two one two three let's go and there we go we have our master song ready to go and from audio share we can share it funnily enough, with the rest of the world. So we can use the share function down the bottom here in Audio Share to save it to our files app, to send it anywhere we like, and then you can release your music, you can upload it to YouTube, you can use it in any way you like. And if you want to learn all about releasing and sharing your music, I've got a whole playlist here on the channel which will be linked up the top right now and down in the description which you can check out. So if you want to release your final master's song, and I recommend you do, check out those links. So for one final time, let's recap what we learned in this video. Our exporting options, we tap on our export options here and we have all of these options from Dropbox, FTP, Mail, File Sharing, Audio Copy and Audio Share. The simplest is Dropbox because anyone gets a Dropbox account for free. My favorite is Audio Share because the app is about $3 to buy US and it is very, very handy. Once we actually tap that, we just select in our options, we hit export and it exports our file. It couldn't be easier than that. Now, as we mentioned in the import video, the problem we have is we don't have files app integration. So it would be super handy and hopefully in the future we'll get it where it actually interacts with the files app in iOS 11 or 12. At the moment it doesn't. So these are the ways that we can export our file from Final Touch for our final mastered song. There you go. Give yourself a golf clap, a pat on the back and all of the kudos in the world because if you followed through this process, you should now have a final master ready to release. And if you do release it or even if you just want to share it, I would love to hear from you. Drop me a comment with a link to your file or email me. My email's in the description. Thanks for sticking with me. Have a great day. See you soon.